So the time in between episodes two and three was very short. And the time between episodes three and four is very long. So there has been a lot of stuff that has happened. First of all, this is where I started and this place just basically got leveled and gutted for all of its machinery and it is now gone. Um, if we go to my base over here, you will also notice that everything is gone. I didn't like this place. It was a good concept, but I don't know. It seemed like it was going to be too much work or something. I really have no idea. So anyways, this is gone. The only thing that's remaining here, um, aside from a few chunk loads, is um, this old reactor. I am currently using 2200 RF per tick to power my whole base. Um, I did have an ender quarry set up, and that thing sucks a monstrous amount of power with uh, Fortune, uh, Fortune 3 and speed upgrades, max speed upgrade. Um, so the reactor is still below here. It's still making power for my new base. And uh, so, yeah, I picked up everything and I moved it out of here because I decided that I didn't like it. Okay, so I'll show you a map of the server. That's my new place. So this is where I started right here. Okay, and then I flew down here. Now that's uh, Blakin's village right there. Pretty awesome. Um, started down here. I realized that I had no vision for this. So I flew down into the ocean and I made this. Okay, so this is where I am going to land. This is my new base. This is uh, Captain Jack's island here. I have my enhanced charm of dislocation. Um, but up, up, uh, so we are going to go home now. Okay, so bloop. All right. Uh, obviously, a lot of stuff has happened. So let me show you uh, what this place kind of looks like. Um, just made these kind of a work in progress type deal so not sure if I like them or not I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with the singles um, this is a tesseract with transfer nodes for water uh, because I'm going to build a turbine for power um, because they're way more efficient so on and so forth lighthouse over there um, and this is my tower and my tower is going to be very tall and it's going to keep growing and growing and growing I figured I could fit the majority of it into like four chunks right here basically and that's all I would need to load so that's pretty cool um, yes this is my tower um, still a work in progress just started with the aesthetic portion of it um, I actually replaced um, these used to be purple they used to be fluix blocks um, now they are shiny blocks because uh, if you're a baller you build your uh, base out of shiny blocks and I'll show you how I got that in just a second um, on the inside here um, just kind of main entryway area. I'm going to use um, some RF tools. I think that's the mod. Um, teleporters. I'm going to put some teleporters around here. Keep them consistently open so I can teleport to different levels of uh, my tower. These are my auto crafting rigs. I kind of wanted to make them um, like chandeliers coming off the, uh, the top here. And so there's not really too much going on on this bottom level here. Put some enchanting junk there. Um, there is one level down below. And uh, we'll get to that in a second. There's just a big reactor down there. Um, the second level is, uh, let me just show you where I am here, is really small. And uh, it is basically the space between the floor, between the auto crafting room, um, and the lobby. So inside of here is where most of uh, my, my AE network is and most of the magic is going on. Um, it is messy. I didn't use PTP tunnels yet. I wasn't really sure um, what I was or how this was even going to look. I kind of like it with all the pipes and wires all over the place, um, but it could definitely be cleaned up. There's not a very good use of um, this controller block. I could probably use a lot less space on that. So um, here's the top of the uh, auto crafting rigs. Um, hopefully the tutorial will be out on AE, AE2 auto crafting so you can figure out how to do that. So that's pretty cool. So here's the top of the other rig over here. I have four crafting CPUs, so this is the same setup I had in like the second episode here of these crafting grids. Um, we just have four of them. Transferred everything over, um, so two here and uh, two back there. Um, my drives, got my network security, got my wireless going on. Um, base capacitors <laughs> were from my original base that I just kind of threw there, and I still have no actual power storage. Um, which is the beauty of that big reactor program where it only actually creates the amount of power that I need, so that's fantastic. Um, got some liquid storage, just made these, haven't filled them up with anything yet. 
um, all 64 Ks. Um, got a load of 64 Ks here, not even used, so I got plenty of space for stuff. Um, let me go to the top, or to the topmost tower, or level of this tower. This is where I'm going to build my turbine, and I'm going to kind of include it in the uh, main portion of my tower, and then I'm going to wrap uh, blocks around it to kind of make it look cool. Um, but this is where I move my bees, okay? So all of my bees are automated um, with uh, item conduits, uh, resident flux. Oh, I've got something in my mouth here. Okay. Um, so, yes, I have a lot of different bees. And I'm not going to go into all of them, but suffice to say that uh, they are making me some magnificent things. Okay? So that's my bee station. This is where um, all of my bee stuff is here. So this is where my genetic lab is. Kind of just slapped up here um, for right now. Um, these are all my species. So you probably didn't see all the species that I had um, last time. I don't even know what happened last time. But anyways, I have a lot of freaking species now, okay? Tons. Just got uh, gelid the other day because I had a gelid cryothium problem. Made that junk up. Got some pyro. Those things are making blazing pyrothium for me. Um, got my princesses in there. But yeah, so just so you can see what kind of resources my bees are getting me before we check out the auto crafting room, before we actually do what we're supposed to do in this. Um, loads of stuff here, okay? So I gotta get rid of these honey drops. Um, 35,000 ender pearls. So uh, I have no need for a mob farm to make ender pearls because the bees are making them. Um, 34,000 certus quartz, um, 33,000 enderium nuggets, so every nine nuggets equals one bar, so you can kind of see um, that the bees, although it takes a little while to get to them, kind of eliminate some of the steps in, uh, in getting some of this, so I can build my base out of enderium if I wanted to. Um, I have that many of them, okay, total overkill. 21,000 shiny ingots I have here. Um, this is endearing drop, so I can squeeze that and make uh, the resident ender. Um, I'm making my bees are making wheat. They're making blaze powder. They're making glowstone, um, diamonds, as we saw in uh, I think the last episode. Nether quartz. I'm making uh, gold nuggets, leather, feathers, sugar, cryothium dust. Okay, making bees making cryothium dust. Um, <coughs> <laughs> they're making watermelons. Uh, they're making some, like, chickens. Yeah, chickens, beef, okay. Here's some more shiny blocks, 1,300 shiny blocks. Like, crazy amount of resources from these bees. So they are magnificent, um, and it kind of... Uh, I love bees, okay? So I'm not going to apologize for talking about them and talking them up. Um, bunch of crap going on here, just enter chest business. Uh, one thing I did make, um, because... Um, I am trying to work my way towards a um, draconium evolution reactor. Uh, so one of the things that I'm going to need if I looked to the future here are, I believe, these draconic cores. No, they're not. Werven cores. Okay, Werven cores. So they need nether stars in order to make them. So... If you look inside of here, I have 31 nether stars. So I'm kind of starting to build my inventory. Um, but what's really fantastic is that I have nether stars on AutoCraft. And uh, I'm going to actually do this outside, you know, just so you can kind of see. And then I'll tell you how I did it. I'll throw in a little screenshot here real quick. Um, so if I go ahead and do nether stars, I'm going to hit craft so it knows how to make one. Okay, it's going to use four soul sand, three wither skeletons to craft the nether star. I'm going to hit start, okay? And uh, the lighthouse is actually not a lighthouse. It's actually a wither boss farm. Okay, so it spawned a wither. It's going to drop it down there. It's going to kill the wither boss for me. Just like that. Bam! Dead. And uh, now I will have an additional nether star in my system. Um, so my system does know how to Auto craft nether stars, there it is. Okay, if I want to craft another one, just hit craft, bam. And then uh, this little puppy builds them up, kills them up, gets my nether star. There we go, built down, we'll be dead in a second. So that is awesome. Okay, so here is the screenshot of how I built it. That's about all you need to know. Um, more importantly, the tutorial um, on how to build it is in the link in the description. Um, Ingram built a fantastic wither boss farm that works fantastically and uh, you can get a detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to make that in about 10 minutes or less so that's how I did that so my system knows how to make it um, up here this is just basically oh this is a mess 
freaking hated these things. Anyways, I automated the processes and pressers, presses and pressers. Um, automated these to uh, know how to make everything for me. Um, and all it's doing is it knows how to make a um, a logic circuit by saying when I hit autocraft, it's going to use one redstone. So you, with one redstone, it's going to craft a logic processor. So it's going to throw that redstone in there. It's going to make it and so on and so forth. And that's how um, I chose to do that up. Um, here's my centrifuges. They are squeezing all of my combs. And I shouldn't have any combs in here. I don't. Okay. Fuzzy Boss works really great in the combs. Um, there they go. Endearing comb. Got some magic wax. No one dare him out of that one. Um, but yeah, these things are constantly chugging away, making stuff. People are dying on the server. Um, so yeah, my goal is to get enough power to be able to make charged um, draconium, I believe. Charged draconium. And uh, then work my way over to the chaos dragon. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build the, um, as far as I know, um, extensive testing has revealed that Ludicrite will be not really extensive testing. Everybody knows it, um, but Ludicrite will be the resource of choice here. Um, the coil's at this end, so we're going to put the Ludicrite at this end. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're going to do four rows of eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, that'll get us 28 some odd thousand RF per tick. I'll show you the reactor in a minute. Um, we need some fluid ports here. Uh, so I think I'll do those. What I did. I added two power taps because I'm not sure um, what kind of piping I'll be using. Probably a Tesseract directly on them, actually. Um, but just in case, sometimes certain blocks can't handle more than 20,000 RF per tick. And the worst thing that you could ever possibly do is shut one of these stupid things down um, and break a block while they're while they're running so that's that would be a horrible mistake all right I'm gonna add a computer port and maybe instead of adding it in the middle I'll just add it right here just in case I want to use a uh, program I think and I actually haven't tested this theory but I think if you get a reactor program that's smart enough to continuously um, disengage and engage the blades of the turbine while it has like tons and tons and tons of ludicrite blocks in them because ludicrite actually causes drag but if you have the more ludicrite blocks you have um, the more RF you can produce the problem is it can't get up to the right RPM so if you have a reactor program that can um, crank it up release the blades crank it up to a certain RPM um, you can probably end up cranking hundreds of thousands of, of RF per tick out of a single turbine um, Maybe somebody can test that because I think that would be a really awesome idea. All right, I do need a controller, so I have no controller. And uh, I'm just going to put the controller here, so this should be fine. Okay, and uh, I also need to build the blades. Okay, so I did build the blades, so that would help. Um, we'll do 80 blades. Do, do, do. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, so this should be cool. I built a tower like this a um, long time ago on a different server. Three, four, five, six. Oh, good grief. <laughs> That's the worst. Okay. Let's fix this. Why did it not do the thing? All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, um, I'm going to close this baby up. I'm going to click on the controller. Um, 80, okay, there's 84 blades. It makes no difference. Um, it looks more uniform that way anyways. It doesn't matter if there's more. I promise you it doesn't matter. I have tested. Okay, so now I need to give this baby steam and also give it water. So I need two more tesseracts. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I was not prepared. I'm going to go ahead and make two more tesseracts, and I'll be right back. Okay, so made 
three text facts because I actually wanted to make a third one just so that I wouldn't risk any problems with this reactor. Um, don't know if I need this one, but the third one is to pipe water back out of uh, the reactor or the turbine and back into the reactor. Okay, so if I need that. So I'm going to change this one to steam in. So I got to place this here. I got to lock it. Okay, I'm going to do uh, receiving fluid steam check. Okay, uh, let me just. Okay, I don't think it'll get anything in it because I'm not producing. Um, so it's receiving fluid steam. Good. Okay, this one is. Oh, this is my output. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so I actually didn't need three. I don't know why I thought I did. Um, so I'm going to put this one here. This one's going to be piping water back out. So lock um, sending fluid. And we're going to do um, water. And that will bring water back to the uh, the what you call it okay so this should be set up so um, if I turn this on it's active but it can't do anything can receive a thousand okay so now what I have to do is I have to go to my basement so this is underneath the floor of the lobby okay it's a five by five reactor um, set this up a little bit going here um, the ender chest is just so I didn't have to wire Emmy down here. It works just as well, and it's fine. So I just have the Alorium in there. This is pulling out the other crap. Um, so steam out, and then water in. Um, so water's coming in from that little thing that I showed you earlier out front. And then I have no idea if this is going to work. Uh, let's see. All right. So I'm getting plenty of water. Um, now, I did this on purpose, um, so I built the reactor with the reactor planner so that it would make exactly um, just enough steam that I needed, basically, which is 2,000. Um, the waste is still a little bit higher than I would like, um, but it's making only what I need. And uh, this reactor can definitely power um, probably three more turbines if I actually needed it to. Um, so let me see up top here. Oh, yeah, baby, there it goes. Okay, so this worked good. This worked good. Um, let me click on... Oh, this is the controller. All right, so plenty of water. I'm going to uh, vent exhaust. Okay, so just get rid of it. Um, the coils are disengaged, so it can spin faster. So I would have to engage the coil, and it would start making um, RF. So I don't want that yet. Oh, poop. Poop in a barrel. Oh, no, I did. Err, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I didn't make power ports, but I did. I did that a long time ago. Um, so I'm going to hook this up into main power. Um, I'm going to do sending energy, okay, into main power. Okay, so this should enable me to completely rip apart that old um, big reactor because this is making like three times the power. Um, that one is only doing like maybe actually okay, a little more than double. It's only doing like 14 max RF per tick when it's running. This this will do 28. Well, I can't add. It's twice the power. Um, but yeah, so this is cool. So I'm going to keep these disengaged so the RPM spins higher. This will top out at 28,000 RF per tick. And I have a turbine going up here, which is pretty cool. The pink doesn't really go with my my uh, my jam, uh, but it should be pretty cool once I wrap wrap the uh, the turbine all up and uh, so we will continue on from there so um, between this episode and the next episode um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating oh geez actually I'm going to be finding a lot of draconium and I'm hopefully going to create the uh, draconic evolution uh, energy storage device uh, possibly next episode maybe it'll be quick maybe it won't be um, but in any case you'll get it next week so uh, so yeah that's what's going on here um, drop a comment in the comment uh, section below. This is not a let's play. I repeat, not a let's play, okay? I'm sorry, I just don't want to do that. So instead of a let's play, I will continue to put out videos, but they will be periodic updates, and I'll kind of 
cut in when I do important things and I'll show you what I'm doing and I'll show you my progress. Um, so yes, not Let's Plays, they're just periodic updates and uh, this episode will be will be like released a week after I've recorded it so um, comments might not even help you at all. Um, but that's it guys, thanks for watching our videos. Make sure you check out uh, Ingram's tutorial on how to make the Wither Boss mob farm, it's right in the, in the tutorial. Super easy I promise you. Um, pretty chill with resources it wasn't that difficult to build you know the dark iron bars were the most expensive thing um, uh, big reactors video if you haven't seen our big reactors or the turbine video you can definitely check those out um, it's our most popular video by far which is fantastic over a million views um, so that means I guess people liked it um, that's it for me guys until next time make sure you keep watching and stay poised